Oh, oh, oh boy. All right, so I just uploaded a different L Mills video, and then some stuff went down on Twitter involving iNabber and L Mills, and there's going to be some topics that we need to discuss about bullying as well as setting boundaries. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And I don't know if you got the memo yet, but the long-awaited podcast is finally starting, so go subscribe to our new channel, Unsolicited Advice. We are premiering it tonight. It will be uploaded on all podcast platforms tomorrow, but it's with my buddy Matt. He actually is the one who did my last L Mills video that I uploaded a little bit earlier. So go subscribe to that. We are uh, doing the first episode tonight, and we're actually going to be diving more into the topic of L Mills, mental health, YouTuber burnout, and yeah, it's gonna get a little crazy, all right? So make sure you subscribe. So here's a little story about what happened. So when I uploaded the last video, after I do that, since the YouTube notification system isn't always working for everybody, I take advantage of social media. So I use Instagram, Twitter, um, on our Discord, and our Facebook groups. I let everybody know. So by the way, follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you're not yet, because that way you know when new videos go up and you get to talk with me and all sorts of stuff. Well, anyways, I was going on there and I was like, am I following Elle Mills? Because I was going to tag her in my tweet about it. And because Matt did a phenomenal job with that video, like, please go check it out. It'll be linked up in the info card. So anyways, I go to Elle Mills' Twitter and I see this. And I'm like, okay, am I tripping? Like, what's happening? Like, why can't I load Elle Mills' page? So then I go up in the search and I start typing in L Mills and you know how like Twitter will just like start suggesting kind of like Google does. And it said L Mills and then the next suggested one was L Mills hate. And I'm like, what the heck is happening right now? So I start scrolling through, trying to figure out what's going on. I start seeing a lot of people saying that L Mills is being bullied. Um, then people saying that, you know, she was bullied off of Twitter. And I'm like, what's going on? I see some mention of a tattoo and I don't really know what's going on. Um, then I see iNabber said something about it. So I'm like, okay. And I keep going, I keep going. And then I see this tweet right here from iNabber. And he basically said this about L Mills tattoo. So yeah, L Mills got a tattoo in Comic Sans that says tattoo, all right? So I never tweeted out making a joke, but you know, a bunch of people on the internet went in on L Mills, which led to her deleting her Twitter. And I'm gonna save some of my comments and things like that for our podcast tonight. Um, but I do wanna talk about a few different subjects involving bullying and setting boundaries and all that. So Elle Mills, as we all know, she's been on this mental health journey since last year. And, you know, she's been doing like this kind of world tour of talking about the importance of mental health and burnout and all of this. And I've made comments about this on Elle Mills as well as many other creators where it's like, get therapy. So one of the things that is fascinating to me is Elle Mills has made videos with Katie Morton. And one of her last videos with Katie Morton was about Elle Mills' uh, weight loss journey, right? Awesome, weight loss is amazing. I actually went to the gym this morning, did a couple miles on that treadmill, you know what I'm saying? Listen to my audiobook. So I get it, physical health, very important. But what we're seeing, and one of the reasons I have this channel to get through to all of you, Physical health is important, yes, but we need to focus on our mental health as well because what we're seeing with somebody like Elle Mills is that it is very apparent that she is putting more time, effort, and energy into her physical health rather than her mental health, okay? We need to recognize this. There, There is a balance that comes along. I get a lot of uh, comments and things like that saying like, physical health, physical health, physical health, all these other things. And it's like, yes, like 
Working on your mental health does not mean that you shouldn't work on your physical health, okay? Like, we are, we, we have this weird kind of idea that doing this takes away from that, and it's not always the thing. Like, when it comes to mental health as a whole, or life as a whole, balance is the key word. Balance in everything, how much you're working, how much you're putting into your mental health, how much you're work, uh, putting into your physical health. All these things are balanced. So, now, did I never bully her? I don't, I don't think so. Like, the thing is, we need to recognize that, you know, people, people make jokes, people make fun and stuff, and like, some people can't handle it, you know what I mean? But if you're very sensitive, Twitter is not the place to be. You know, in fact, being a YouTuber is not the place to be. Something that I'm learning as my channel begins to grow, like I'm gaining even more self-awareness. Some of you have seen the collaborations I've been doing. I'm trying to grow as a person as well. And something I was actually just talking to my beautiful girlfriend Tristan about was like, I put myself in this position, okay? And that's something I've talked about over and over and over with um, other YouTubers. Like, we need to take responsibility for the position that we put ourselves in. Now, L Mills is younger, okay? So, but we all need to realize that. Like, um, I told you one of uh, the quotes I remember from uh, a recent book I read was, increased levels means increased devils, right? So, uh, like, the, the more we move up, the more stress we're gonna get. Like, a lot of people want the promotion. They wanna be the business owner. They wanna, you know, be their own boss and all that. They think it's all easy peasy. But with all that comes new stresses. So, I mentioned this the other day in a video um, when I was talking about Demi Lovato, and it's about expectations, right? Like, um, reading a lot of the things on Twitter, like, man, Twitter is just like this crazy place. Like, I just recently got into Twitter, and woo-hoo-hoo, it is crazy. But anyways, like, we need to look at our, our expectations of what Twitter is. Like, I saw a lot of people saying, like, y'all need to quit bullying. Y'all need to quit bullying, right? Like, do you really think that your tweet is gonna just change somebody's whole perception. You know what I mean? I, I kind of like look at it like um, like honking your horn at somebody, right? Like, there's some people who are just honk happy, but like, we need to recognize, like, do I really need to honk like with this? Like, did my honk just completely change the way this person drives forever? Or did I just exert some energy that I didn't need to while also annoying all the other drivers around me, right? So how much is your tweet actually doing, doing this, right? But I always say, I preach that it's a lot easier for us to fix us than it is to fix the rest of the world right? So we need to look at our expectations. Like if you ever expect, if you ever envision this beautiful day in which nobody on Twitter is going to say something terrible or be a dick, you are setting yourself up for failure. For some people, that is entirely what Twitter was designed for, for them to spout off their rude or ignorant opinions. That is just what it is, okay? So lower your expectations of Twitter and social media as a whole. People have more anonymity. They are more likely to say things that they would never say to somebody's face. This is what's going to happen, all right? And again, we're gonna dive more into the topic of L Mills and this tattoo, but briefly I'll touch on it just to give you a sneak peek. Like L Mills, getting that tattoo, like I wonder what her thought process was or what she expected. Again, going back to expectations, what did she expect when she posted that? Did she think that nothing, she wasn't gonna get anything but love and support for that tattoo? Like she kind of did it in my, you know, I, I'm guessing in a joking way, you know, like I don't, I, don't, I don't really know. But the next thing and last thing we're gonna talk about is boundaries. For a long, 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 long time, I've been a big believer in don't quit social media, all right? Deal with it, it helps strength your resiliency and stuff like that. But something I'm learning as I begin to grow in the public eye is that we need to set up boundaries and sometimes we need to do things to ourselves, like just get off Twitter because we don't trust ourselves, right? Like L Mills or you even might not be in a place where you can take the crappy people on Twitter. So you just gotta get off of it, right? So L Mills might have made the right decision by doing that. You might make the right decision. Like a lot of people I know who watch my videos, you aren't on Twitter, you aren't on Instagram, you aren't on Facebook, right? But 
what we need to think about, especially in the world we live in today, social media connects us with people that we never would have been able to connect with before. You know what I'm saying? Like we're able to make new friends, we're able to have more support. Like a lot of my DMs on Twitter are with my support group, other creators, talking with them about some of the struggles, some of the headaches and stuff like that. That's where my support group is. So Elle Mills is kind of like putting a barrier between herself and the support group. I'm sure she has a bunch of their phone numbers, but we need to we need to look at this. So this is why we should work towards a time where we can be resilient enough to be on these social media platforms. Like it bums me out that some of you out there watching my videos, you are afraid to get on Facebook or Discord to join our mental health support groups because of the negatives that can come with being on social media. And that's driving you away from something that can be really, 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 really beneficial for, for your mental health. I hope that makes sense. So I hope that's something that you start working on, okay? Best option is Discord because you can re remain anonymous. You use like your own little um, name and stuff like that. So it's different than Facebook. But anyways, that's where I'm going to end this video. Again, make sure you subscribe to our new channel, myself and Matt unsolicited advice, brand new podcast where we're gonna be talking about YouTube. We're gonna be talking about mental health in YouTube as well as addiction. We're gonna be branching out into news and things like that. It will be a much more unfiltered version. All right, it's not gonna be too crazy, but it will be more unfiltered. We're gonna get into some topics that I have stayed away from, all right? So there's gonna be a lot of cool stuff. So make sure you go subscribe, notification bell on. It's every single Tuesday at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern time, all right? And then the following day, every Wednesday, we will be uploading it to streaming platforms like Apple Podcasts and all that stuff. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And don't forget, I just posted the February Q&A. So if you're a patron, go ask your questions. I'll be filming that later this month. And if you would like to get your questions answered, click or tap on the Patreon icon right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.